crazy to me is that the bar is so low right now for the De- Deontay Wilder that the mere fact that he talks, he's like getting stroked for it. You know what I mean? Um, he talked in a press conference. Whoop the fucking do. Exactly. Uh, I mean, aren't aren't fighters supposed to talk in press conferences? So he talked in a press conference, and now oh, he's got so much confidence, and you know he's ready for the fight. Uh, that pretty much always happens. He might be a little bit more confident than when he wasn't talking, but to your point, Ring, it didn't seem like he was going to talk. He's breaking character, Maestro. He's Is breaking that- character. Look. Deontay ain't no wallflower. He not a wallflower. Think, he never he never got a wallflower. I think he spoke. Was that go the ahead, thing, go ahead, Kenny. Was that the thing that he wasn't confident because he wasn't talking the first time? Now I would say that if you've watched Deontay Wilder over the years and 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 you know when he's happy, you know when he feel good, he's a like he's a dude that likes to talk. So when he uh, feel good, he talks. I'll, I'll, say this. I'll say this. Yeah, this like is what I'm was talking. bomb squad. Like, this is, like, this, big. But this is what I'm saying. looking like, like silent assassin squad. But I, I, guess, I, I, I understand what you guys are saying, but this is what I saw on the first, the first press conference. I saw Deontay was locked in, right? He wasn't about no bullshit. He was locked in. They go for the face off. Tyson Fury tries that bullshit. And then all that, oh, I'm talking shit or whatever. And Deontay's looking right at him. And you see... Just like that, Fury's like, oh, shit, this ain't a game. So then he stops talking. I remember you said that last time we were and talking. That, and that's what, that's what I saw on that one. I didn't see him not being confident. I saw a situation where Tyson Fury thought he was going to be another little sweet press conference. Deontay wasn't there for all that. And Fury immediately stopped talking and started staring. Oh, that's what we're doing here? I didn't I didn't know that's what we were doing. Okay. Think, well, here's I think, a, here's, let, me, let me jump in real quick. Let me jump in real right. quick. I think he spoke yesterday because if you re- remember in the beginning, Kate looked over to him and said, she kind of gave him a sad look and like, can you talk today? You're going to talk today? And I think he spoke because he yes. felt a little bit bad about what Kate, Abdo, what, what, what Kate Abdo turned to him and said, you're going to talk today. That's mm-hmm. why I thought he talked. That's number 100%. one. percent. I agree. Why I'm he gonna, did, can I, can I Let say me just this? finish this one point ring and I'll, and I'll give it right back to you. Yeah, yeah I want to make a point too. The reason why I don't think he talked in the first press conference, and I wasn't happy about it. I, I'd rather he did talk. I'm on full disclosure. Yeah. But the reason why I think he didn't, because he's saying to himself, I'm not going to go back and forth with this dude because all he's going to do is try to make, a, you know, make this a clown show. And I don't want to be part of that. Mm-hmm. That's why I think he didn't talk. He talks yes. with other people because it's a different setting with fury fury tends to make it kind of a circus and he makes it all about him. And I, I don't think that Wilder wanted to give him that narcissistic supply. I don't, that's why I, he didn't I, talk. I don't agree with that's you. That's why he didn't talk. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't talk because he didn't want to answer questions about the allegations that divine and Kenny are more confident in than he is. He doesn't want to talk about the spike know, quarter. We don't, we about don't know what's going on in his mind. Well, you don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on in his mind either, but you just no. said what you thought, and I'm saying what I think. What I think is that he did not want to answer questions because don't forget, he refused to answer questions from the media too, Joe. He it did. wasn't just Fury that he refused to answer questions from. He refused to answer questions from the media and then only gave an exclusive uh, interview to a channel that sucks his dick all day long. Let Kenny finish his point. Hold on. Go ahead. Ring finish, then let Kenny go. Ring finish, then let Kenny go. That doesn't... Hold on, hold on. Let Ringo go. Look, look, look. Let Ringo go. I've been paying close attention. Look, I've been paying close attention. We know what Wilder has said out of his own mouth, right? We already heard all of that. But I tried to look around at his people to see how they feel, right? So I saw Radio Raheem, he talked to Malik Scott a couple of weeks ago, and he outright asked him about the shit. And Malik didn't co-sign nothing. You know, he didn't he didn't co-sign that this happened and that happened. I'm like, I bet. There's an interview with Shelly Finkel that was uh, taken very recently. And they asked him outright, well, what about the cheating and all that? He's like, well, I don't know if he cheated. I'm, I'm thinking, look, man, look, man, all right, the accusations that you're making – these are not normal accusations you're making. You're talking about felony assault with a blunt force object concealed in a glove. You don't box after that, all right? You don't box nowhere on this planet after that, all right? You're talking about a trainer drugging you. That's another felony right then and there. That's a felony. That's right. Mark Breland goes to jail. 
You cannot make these kinds of accusations. The casual's not going to know that, but I know that. You put a mm. Mickey in somebody, yo, that's a felony, fam. And mm. that's what you accuse him of doing. Well, that, that's a, a muscle relaxer, whatever you think he put whatever you think he That's what we call it in the East Coast, G. Yeah. That's what we call it in the big city. He put a Mickey in the shit. Now, 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 this is the important part. This is the important this part. This is street shit here, G. <laughs> I love it. The, what you're accusing these people of is slander and libel that could affect their professional careers. Why? What if people start giving Mark Breland a side eye based on things that you said about him and he can't get work? This is the kind of shit that you did. This is not the kind of shit that can go unchecked or un, uh, unaddressed. But mm -hmm. it has. Why? Because you won't talk to the media. You, you wouldn't talk to them about it. You won't elaborate. Your team, the way I know that your team didn't do nothing about it, look, if there was any kind of legal mumbo jumbo going on that you got a firm, you got lawyers that did an investigation and looked into it, Shelly would have talked about it. But when we talk to your team, when they talk to your team, your team is like, nah, I don't know nothing about that, man. I'm trying to move off of that, man. Nah, I ain't trying to talk. I, I, that tell me, yo, dog, that's just some shit that you was saying after the fight. I was I'll I'll this, I'll this, I'll Kenny, we're gonna sorry. let Kenny wrap it up because we can go we can go on this all day. We can I'll, go I'll say I want to say some too, by the way. So let's be fair. Let, let yeah. Kenny, then Divine. Right. I'll say you this. You want to go again, I'll... Divine? Uh, yeah, I got a little bit something to say. Just okay. a little bit. Okay. Right. Now I'm just gonna say real quick, as far as him talking and answering questions, I don't like the way he handled Mark Breland at all. I mean, I I, I like Wilder, Mom Squad, all that other stuff. I'm just I'm speaking for me. Black man, seeing another black man do that to another black man, I'm not feeling that, right? I, I, I'm not feeling that. But when you talk about speaking to the media, I, maybe I'm a little jaded. I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk to these dudes either. I'm not talking. What I'm talking to Lance Pugmire. I ain't talking to him. I'm not talking to Coppinger and all these other. I'm not talking to those guys because you guys have done nothing but shit on me for the past nine months, and now for your story. You want to hear me talk. So I'm not talking to them. Kenny, I'm I knocking you. Kenny, I ain't knocking you. I understand your reasoning. I understand your reasoning that maybe you don't want to talk to these individuals because you feel that your statements will be misconstrued. I completely get it. Mm -hmm. But you can release a statement through your own people. You don't need to talk to Lance Pug. No, no. He did, to though. To address what you're saying. Because what you're saying is not normal. You don't just say, you don't just accuse a man of drugging you. You don't. Yeah. You don't. That's a felony, fam. Yeah, I ain't That's feeling how he did that with Breland. The whole thing That's with Breland, I, I'm not. A, I'm not cool right. with that. Let's let's give Divine the last word on this, and we can move on because we can go all day on this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is a show in itself. Yeah, I mean, go ahead, I mean, like, I would rather, <clears throat> I would rather just quit, uh, switch gears, man, because this is this is just. Yeah, you're gonna go around the circle. We're gonna go around the circle. It's no longer relevant, man. We've yeah, been talking fight about Saturday. this. A fight, fight Saturday. Saturday. We, we, That's what we, I've been trying got, to say. I mean, That's what I've been I mean, trying to damn. say. Fight Saturday. It's, Fight a it's Saturday. A, it's a wrap. Whatever it is, it's, it's going to be on Saturday. It's a wrap. Oh, look, look I'm divine. the floor is yours. So if you wanted to say anything, nah, I mean, it's, yeah, go ahead, I brother. feel like what, what I do want to say, though, because there may be some people either on the panel or in the chat who may have these preconceived ideas that, you know, oh, Devon, he's part of the LDBC. Da, da, da. Look, on my channel, I've never got into the allegations other than I did a film study of the second fight. And I broke it down brick by brick. And I just said, look at this. Check this out. What do you guys think about this? It's an observation. People made their own conclusions. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. I never bought into all the allegations. As far as Mark Breland's concerned, I, I agree with Joe. It comes down to a, a simple fact of they made a pact. No matter what happens, don't stop the fight. And at no point in time during the fight, and you can watch the second fight, he never warned Wilder ever that, yo, if you don't do something, I'm going to stop the fight. Fuck what you're saying. I don't care if you don't want me to stop it. It's my responsibility. As a matter of fact, he stood there pouring water in his mouth, didn't say shit for like five or six rounds. Hmm. That's an issue, right? So if you're Deontay Wilder, you got to put yourself in his shoes. He's now, not I'm not talking about the water. I'm not He's talking not about the water. I'm not talking about the water. Water on the boxing voice, but now... Now that yeah, it's no, 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 no,
and we about to change gears. Let him, let oh, him finish. Change right. gears. Let him finish. Let him finish. Maestro, Maestro, Maestro. 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 Like, you got to follow the rules, brother. You got to let him finish. You if you want to say something afterwards, you can. No, go we got to end it after this one because this is going to go all day. It's going to go all day. <laughs> this is the finish last Finish up, Divine. Go ahead, Divine, bro. Let Divine get Everyone the last word. Finish their thoughts I, I said, I said Divine was going to get the last word. Divine's going to get the last word, and we're going to move on. Go ahead, Divine. Let me just say this because I feel like there needs to be a reminder. I came on, I, you know, Maestro brought it up, so I'm not going to let him, because that's what he likes to do. He likes to throw a jab in there, people switch gears, then he pops his collar like he got a one-up on somebody. Let me make it clear. I came on the Boxing Voice as a guest. I just created my channel. It's my first time on the panel. Right? I know Ness probably a lot longer than you do, Maestro. I've been around for a long time. I went on as a, as a guest because he invited me. I'm not going to go on a panel for the first time and start disrespecting people and talking over people. The water came up and we went back and forth a little bit. And I actually asked a question. I said, did Deontay Wilder actually say from his mouth that he feels that Breland spiked the water? Because I never heard it. And then you guys said, oh, yeah, there's a there was an article that was put out and he actually said it. And I said, cool. If he said it, then I'll look it up. And if he said it, then it is what it is. Then I'll retract my statement. That's what I said on the boxing voice. So yeah, you know what? just you, a you reminder know, you, on that. That that that's a, that's a different topic. I mean, what, what you did over there, that's over with. We're we're moving on from that. Like the fight again, is Saturday. It don't matter Saturday. no more. Move on. Let's fight move on. Let's move on. Let's so, move on. He listen. already dropped the video where he was crying to his fans no, about. No, 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 no. We ain't, we're not. Yeah, gonna yeah because I was bullied. Because I was gonna, bullied, just like you trying to bully the right. panel right now, Maestro. What, I'm gonna. I'm like gonna what you a, doing yeah, right yeah, now? I'm gonna put a stop to it right now. Yeah, no keep ad- laughing. Yeah, keep laughing. It's just no funny, huh? Because that's what you do. Divine, divine. Divine and Maestro. We're not going to turn this I'm into good. something. Yeah, Yo, we came here to talk about boxing. I came here to talk about boxing. I came here to talk about boxing. Can I, let me say this. Look, that's how you know it's a good fucking fight. If people are mad at each other and they're fucking arguing, it's a good fucking fight. But I don't want it to turn into personal attacks. It's not going to. Yeah. They, I they think everyone cool should respect each fight. other. I think everyone should be boxing, cool baby. Fight, man. Keep it boxing. Keep it. Yeah, boxing, I came here man. to talk about boxing. No, you good. That's it. You good. So who's who's, 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 right, gonna, who's, who's the first, first, first one that brought up the allegations? Who's the first one that brought it up in this panel? Thank you. Divine. Divine. Let's keep it moving. It's good. It's good. Let's squash it. Let's squash it. Let's squash it. Let's just squash it. I'm good. It's not going to go nowhere. 